DDD versus Greninja or DDD versus Mega Man. Both sound very rough for the DDD player, but I would say pre pandemic, Fred was definitely would have been the favor. Mm -hmm. And they haven't played at all since pandemic. I believe this is Fred's first offline bracket in a year and a half. And this is loser semis, yeah? Uh, loser's quarters. This is the other half side. Oh, right. This is the other side. You're right. You're right. Good call. Good call. We only went through one oh, half I'm of it. I'm cheating. I'm looking at bracket any time to ends to make sure. <laughs> and it looks like we got... No, he's, it looks like he's debating character. I didn't know uh, Fred played anyone else. Terry. Oh, the Terry. Interesting. Wow. Uh, make sure... Yeah, I will. That was a... Uh... I don't know how to pick we were expecting. I, I heard him say in, uh, in the back while he was waiting for his, one of his sets to get called that he'd been uh, carry, he'd been messing around with carries a secondary for a little bit. So yeah, but guess, guess we'll see if there's any uh, truth to that. Yeah, definitely. This is definitely a matchup for a player even that I think this is a very good idea. Playing two very hard matchups for DDD, I would assume. Yeah, I can't imagine Gr Greninja to DDD would be fun. But Howard done putting in work here, and Apollo struggling to get off this ledge. Good retreat back to center. And even though this character isn't our traditional heavy, he's still one of the heaviest in the game. At 108 weight, I believe. Yeah, he's certainly lived some An things SD. that you might not think he would. Apollo's got to get those out of his system. Yeah, the last two <laughs> games he's played, there's been three SDs. God. And this is not the time to be doing it. No. Only best of three. So Fred, uh, he just needs, he's just getting his extra credit right now. It yeah. doesn't matter to him. He'll get his little hits. It don't matter if it's the most optimal mm -hmm. combo in the world. It's something. Right. I mean, can confirm just about anything in 20% with power dunk. Yeah, and now he has a go meter. So we'll see how well, if Apollo can take off the... So strong. Oh, that, that could have been it with... Uh, no, that's that's not that's not true. That's not true without the jabs first. The down tilt Buster Wolf. Oh, okay. Fun facts from fun fact from when we had Henry as a Terry. Pink shirt guy always knows his stuff, but Fred taking out stock two already. Yeah, having a two, ooh, good up air. Just a di on that up mm -hmm. air, but flip to one thirty got a full stock lead. Exactly. Not a big deal. Nope. Fred sitting really nice right now. No conversion off the nair, goes for an F smash instead. Right before, he just needs to get as little damage. He doesn't feel mm -hmm. like he has to force anything. No, absolutely not. Jab, jab, power dunk, 10 to 30. Easy peasy. Ooh, barely missing Ooh, that second bump. back air. Yeah, that bump was scary. Got a, a polygon SD again. I'll smash out a shield. Over a full stock lead now. Yeah. Going for some raw up smashes. Good overshoot with the dash attack. These spot dodge cancel up tilts are putting in yeah. a bunch of work for Fred here. And is and that jab, a kill? Jab, power, dunk. Yeah. It. One off Fred. Pretty convincingly, you know. Yeah. Weren't Even too sure about the carry right but away, but. There was an SD, but it was still a two stock game. Yeah, two stock with like 60% on his second. I'm not sure uh, that SD even really would have mattered that much in terms of the grand scheme of things. Yeah. Want to change how they approach the matchup, but either way, the end result is Fred took that game. I'm back. Stay hydrated, kids. Got to grab my water. So, I didn't quite see a map there. Me too, but okay, looks like Paul is saying Greninja and Fred is saying Terry. Makes sense. Yeah. Paul probably has the mindset a little bit where, oh, I SD, I'm fine. And Fred just won convincingly. Yeah. Guess we'll see. Not his man, but it's doing enough work. That's all that matters. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a matchup check for Apollo. I don't know how much Apollo, he's a, he's a Terry. So. You know, he's doing all right now, hitting his B&Bs. Missing the, missing the follow-up off the second up here, but uh, 
you know, already looking a little bit more, a little bit more comfortable than the first game. Oh, 100%. Definitely getting his combos in, getting, making it about even right now, where he had a stock loss at this point, probably. Ooh, baiting a jump shot and jump and punching crack shot. Ooh, I just run forward? I'm, I don't know what that was about. Dash he was trying back. to get an F tilt. Yeah. Ooh. Still had the roll yep. come in from Fred, even though Apollo turned to that F smash. But. He really lives. Move the jab, jab, power dunk. Just throw. sat there and waited for a second. Got the oh, oh and the reverse hit. Stage. And that's a first talk to Apollo. Yeah. Not something that we, not something that we saw last game. But and at 142, you know, got to be really careful. Those jabs are gonna kill. Up tilt will start killing soon too. Just raw. So. Oh, Falling out of power dunk, but gets the punish on the platform. Oh, the taunt, taunt coming in. Why not? Trying That's to flex good. a little bit. I mean, you know, like we were saying oh, earlier, the Apollo definitely a very, uh, very emotionally invested player. So yeah, the taunt uh, could definitely get the, to him. You know, that little bit of damage it can do on someone's mental is enough. If that's gonna get you to take the game, and for Fred to set, do what you gotta do. Apollo doesn't get up attacking. Get up attacking. Out there, he doesn't yeah. get a hold kill. He's just gonna tap it. Falling out of up smash a little mm -hmm. bit. Ooh, oh, that was scary. Ooh, no arm. Can't armor through the. Is that it? Some Ooh. Thing, yeah. some that's just that yeah, I'm guessing he's trying to SDI out, which is still holding that direction. Must have been, but that's really not what you want to see as Apollo. Yeah, that, that's a rough. Mm -hmm. Good punish. And Apollo's really got to nail something on the set guard. Wow, that F tilt hit. That's one way to take a stock, but. Yeah. I mean, really good for Apollo, and I doesn't have to deal with the go go juice anymore, so. Can you get the full combo this time? Ooh, it doesn't commit. We'll just take his down throw up there, get a little damage, doesn't need anything crazy. Nope. Ooh. And Apollo's, you know, those mid percents. Getting held in advantage right now. Mm hmm We almost have a go meter again, so it's and it's scary for Apollo too. Yep, and now he's got it. Apollo's that down airing off huh. power geyser. More you know. That could have yeah. been it. You know, I think these people are just can really just tell how nervous they are. Yeah. Uh, makes, you know, seeing it, seeing a raw counter in front of you and punching with grab, that's not some, that's spaghetti if I've ever seen it, but. Yeah, and you can definitely tell this this isn't Fred's main just because of his uncomfortability with the go moves, it seems like. Yeah, he's hitting, and inputs in general. He's been pulling a lot of like raw up smashes and, uh, and beer turn, around, an fire, turn around power geyser. Oh, the downhill fair is that kill? Fair is gonna take it. There's game two for Apollo. Yeah. I'm curious if Fred is gonna stay to Terry or if he's gonna switch to D to be saying that the SD is why he won. He's not feeling comfortable anymore because he lost. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Looks like looks like we're not gonna be going back to PS2. That's what I like to see. Let's actually counter pick on our counter picks. Yeah, no kidding. FD. FD versus stick. Greninja is a interesting move, especially yeah. if he's staying. That's crazy. That's a. I don't know. Maybe it's a maybe it's a comfort pick for Fred. Just. I guess. He plays no. on a lot of DDD and just enjoys the flat stage, but. Maybe he we'll thought see. the platforms were messing up his combos in some way. I don't know. Definitely an interesting call, but so far working out, getting a little bit of a lead for himself. Yeah. Playing a little footsies, trying to bait some type of commitment. It's 30%. Uh, mm -hmm. The Nair combo breaks in. Ooh, the up air barely connecting before Burn Knuckle came out. Yeah, this is definitely not too bad of a situation for Fred. Got a decent percent lead. Yeah. Well, calling out dash and calling out the jump with dash attack. Yeah. Kinda 
I find it strange that Apollo is just still struggling to get off ledge this much because Fred's a uh, Fred's down tilt ledge trapping is a uh, you know it's not spaced properly and then also uh, he doesn't really have a lot of mix-ups out of it or he hasn't threatened anything out of it so yeah. Apollo should strong. be getting off ledges for pretty much free right now but he's still racked up a lot of damage. Oh, he finally hits a confirm when it matters. There you go. Take the first stock. Oh, is that it? Down to Down fair? fair? No we'll full hot fair. And oh, the I'm not sure what's going on there. Not punished. Unfortunate uh, for Apollo. He used to have, he had a free down smash on that recovery, but... Ooh, the second one, one kills off take the Take it top. off the top. There you go. Getting rid of that ghost sauce. All right, we got Apollo. I think something that most people are showing is Apollo. Anytime that Apollo starts just dashing around, people immediately start trying to catch him. You're in a, you have a lead. You can take it slow, make him do something. Yeah, for sure. There you go, couple down tilts and holding shield. Good bait. Ooh, the power wave still connecting all the way across stage. 50% lead, so pretty substantial. Mm -hmm. But now he's in disadvantage versus Greninja, and Terry's disadvantage is not great, to say no, the least. No, it is not, and Apollo's very good at catching landings. Greninja's mobility is certainly... Uh, oh, miss it down tilt Nair. Nair. Surprised you just didn't see a S-Smash punish on that power dunk, because that was uh, certainly not safe. Oh, that was almost it. Down tilt, catching the first up be back. And oh, the, that was so risky, but you and know he doesn't get And the whiff on the it. F smash again. Aren't of those fast falls on a ledge is definitely a weird timing. Like, I can't blame anyone too much for missing those, but it's definitely scary for the players. Ooh, and that didn't kill. That's not good news for Apollo. Yeah. Because now he's got it's, go meter again. Yeah, and the amount of things he dies to went down in terms of what combos. Mm hmm 48%. Well, now he's at a... There you got kill confirms at this percent, yeah. especially with a uh, especially with ghost sauce. So Paul's really looking to take care of this stock fast. Do the air dodge back at seventy. This mm -hmm. is really good position. Is that down tilt? All oh, messes geyser. it up. F smash, almost low profiling the jab. It looked like, but this isn't undoable for Apollo. With how well he's been Not putting an advantage. One, this one setup could be it. Mm-hmm. One good hit, one good string. You can definitely tell some nerves again to him. Missing a lot of these confirms. Barely getting I don't anything know. off it just because of these frame taps. Apollo has been putting together some pretty good strings throughout the tournament, but he's just got to find one more in to even this up and then clutch it out. We'll see if he can do it. Yeah. But. Yeah, so with how he's been a DIing, a mm -hmm. jab, jab, power dunk might even kill up this percent at ledge. Ooh, narrowly missing that punish. Second jab, sucking him in. Yeah. That would have been it for Fred, but I'm sure Fred wasn't ready for it to connect. Yeah, 100%. Up there. And look at that. This is the last hit, last stock. Oh, the Perry F smash. F smash. That's the set. What a huge way to end that set. I'm guessing next one we'll end up having winner's finals between White Fang and uh, Pink Shirt Guy. Wow. Well, good.